In Clallam, the letter P is the same as in the English word pop, and it's in the Clallam word cat. Peesh, psh. Peesh, psh. Peesh, psh. Peesh, psh. Peesh, psh. A P with an apostrophe is an ejective P. It's like a P, but the sound is ejected out of the mouth with a strong pop. It's in the word flounder. Owie. 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 The letter T is the same as the sound at the beginning and end of the English word tot. It's in the Clallam word for fork or spear. T'chen. 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 T-chan. 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 A T with an apostrophe is called an ejective T. It's like the T but ejected out of the mouth with a strong pop. It's in the Clallam word to sing. T-am. 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 The letter C is pronounced as a combination of the letters T and S, like at the end of the English word Hats. It's in the Clallam word for hands. Size. 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 A C with an apostrophe is called an ejective C. It's like the C but ejected out of the mouth with a strong pop. It's in the word for little bird. It's um. It's um. A C with a little V on top is called a C with a wedge. It's the same as the sound at the beginning and the end of the English word church. It's in the Clallam word for teeth. Chuns. 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 A C with a wedge that's ejective is just like the C with a wedge with the ch sound, but is ejected out of the mouth with a strong pop. It's in the Clallam word for plate. Ch a we. 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 The letter S is the same as the sound at the beginning and end of the English word sis. It's in the Clallam word for door. Sur. Sush. 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 An S with a V on the top is called an S with a wedge and makes the same sound that's at the beginning of the English words sugar and shoe. It's also in the Clallam word for walk. Stung. 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 The letter Y is the same as it is in the English alphabet, like at the beginning of the English word yes. It's in the Clallam word for heart. Yenowis. 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 The letter W is the same as the sound at the beginning and end of the English word wow. It's in the Clallam word for frog. The letter N is the same sound that's at the beginning and end of the English word none. It's in the Clallam word to laugh. Nutching. 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 An N with a hook is like an NG com combination sound. It's similar to the sound at the end of the English word song. It's in the Clallam word for nose. Nuxen. 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 A K with a raised W makes a qu sound like at the beginning of the word quick. 
It's an Aklalan word for spring salmon. Quechin. 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 A K with a raised W and an apostrophe is an ejective K with a raised W. It sounds just the same as a K with a W, but it's ejected out of the mouth with a strong pop. It's an Aklalan word for eagle. Quangsen. 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 A letter Q in Clallam is similar to the sound at the beginning of the English word call, but the tongue is touching farther back in the throat. It's in the English word for I. Kying. 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 A Q with an apostrophe is called an ejective Q. It's just like the Q in the back of your throat, but it's ejected out of the mouth with a strong pop. It's in the Clallam word for cougar. Waits up. Waits up. Waits up. Waits up. Waits up. A Q with a raised W. Sounds like the Q in the back of the throat, but you make the sound with your lips rounded. Qua. It's in the word log. Clay. 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 A Q with an apostrophe and a raised W is ejective. It's like the Q with a raised W, but ejected out of the mouth with a strong pop. It's in the Clallam word for ear. Quine. 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 The letter M is the same as in English, like at the beginning and end of the English word mom. It's also in the Clallam word for basket. Mahoy. 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 The symbol that looks kind of like a question mark is called a glottal stop. It sounds like a catch or an abrupt stoppage of air in the throat. This sound is what separates the two vowel sounds in the English word uh-oh. It's also in the Clallam word to eat. Ethan. 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 This next letter is the most different looking symbol in the Clallam alphabet. It's called a barred lambda. It's ejective and it's like a TL combination sound produced with a strong pop. It's in the word for butterfly. Clat-apt. 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 The letter L is very rare in Clallam, and it's the same as in the English language. It's a Clallam word for sheep. Lamatu. 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 The next letter is called a barred L, and is described as a juicy sound. Hold your tongue in position for a T and blow. It's in the Clallam word for haircut. Sleet's aircon. Sleet's aircon. Sleet's aircon. Sleet's aircon. Sleet's aircon. The X with a raised W is a sound that sounds like the beginning of the English word which. It's the Clallam word to jump. Wheating. An X with a dot underneath is called a back X, and it's unlike any English sound. It makes a rough throat clearing sound. It's in the Clallam word raccoon. Hikes. 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 The back X with a raised W is produced as the same as a back X, but with the lips rounded, like a sound. 
and it's the clown word for paddle. Hotting it. Hotting it. Hotting it. Hotting it. Hotting it. The letter H in clallum is the same as in English, and it's in the clallum word for deer. Hopped. 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 The letter A in clallum is usually slightly longer than the other vowels. It is pronounced like the vowel in the English word call. It's in the clallum word for house. Aing. 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 A -A. A -A. The letter E in clallum is rare and usually occurs before a glottal stop. It has a E eh sound. It occurs in the clallum word for young man. Sweatless. 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 The letter I is, in, is the same as the I in the English word machine and is in the clallum word for sleep. Eat. 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 The upside down E is called a schwa. It sounds like the vowels in the English word above. It's in the clallum word for the number two. Chessa. 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 The letter U is usually pronounced like the U in the English word tune or the oo sound in the English word hoot. It also sometimes sounds more like the vowels of the English word boat, especially when it comes before a glottal stop. The letter U is in the clallum word for cow. Moose moose. Moose moose. Moose moose. Moose moose. Moose moose. In this clown language, as far back as I could remember, there we are divided in three areas, and we have just a very slight little dialect different from the other. That, for example, my sister always said, uh, "Oh, he came from Pisht," or, "Or he he's from Port Gamble," or something like that. So. With the Khan language, we don't. We have the same language, but however, some pronounce it a little bit different with a slow drag or fast.